Say good morning, Lulu. Good morning, Lulu. Good morning. <laughs> We're here on like day 100 and God only knows of the quarantine. In the beginning, we were actually a little concerned with how we were gonna handle everything. I think before COVID, I was never home in the mornings, so I've got to be there when they wake up. Uh, we were like blown away with like all of the really, the big requirements that he needed and had it can be long days. It truly can be very, very, very long days. In one week, we go e-learning and I'm not that excited because I get really distracted in e-learning. So do I. Homeschooling has been difficult. I mean, I'm not a teacher. I don't have an educational background. <laughs> One of the struggles is definitely the time management that comes along with homeschooling. I had to maintain the workload of my own office in addition to their schoolwork. Being a deaf student with ADHD, working remotely during a global pandemic, it's a lot, it's a lot. He's only, you know, he's only 13 years old. COVID and the coronavirus, we just don't like it. Making sure everybody is okay weighs on you. You know, it's, it's a struggle. We actually got closer during this, this quarantine, Lourdes and I. My brothers made quarantine better because I actually have someone to play with. Since we've been home a lot, we've had a lot of bonding time. So he's got to like learn a little bit more about me. I've learned so much about my kids watching how they learn and um, the things that they do. So having Mario at home uh, as, a, as a remote learner um, has, uh, has had its challenges, but it's had amazing opportunities to better get to understand um, our kid. I mean, we, we're, we're talking about major things that are happening in, in this kid's life. She's, she communicates so much more now and it's just, it's a, her progress, I'm so I'm sorry. <laughs> I think the kids have been really resilient during COVID. They're the type of kids that have fun no matter where they are or what they do. It still is overwhelming now. We're just trying to adapt. I'm constantly being surprised by how resilient this kid is. It's definitely been very hard, but I feel like we've gotten closer because of quarantine. I try to focus on the things that we've gained during this pandemic instead of the things that we've lost. We as parents, we have to put on that face, you know, because these are our kids. We have to show them that we're strong every day when we're not. You're my best friend. You're my best friend. No, you're my best friend. <laughs> yeah. Huh? I love you. I love you too. I love you every day.